Experts agree that Nigeria's maritime sector alone could generate trillions of naira and millions of jobs annually if properly harnessed. But incessant smuggling and related crimes constitute challenges militating against the development of this sector. Beyond the razzmatazz of public presentation of this book titled Harnessing Nigeria's Maritime Assets, Past, Present and Future, President Muhammadu Buhari, represented by the Minister of Transportation, Rotimi Amechi, highlighted steps taken so far to revamp the maritime sector. These include strict enforcement of regulations by the Nigerian Maritime Administration and Safety Agency, NIMASA, as well as ensuring the security of the waterways. The President had approved a total of $195 million for the establishment of the maritime security. Once that is done, we will have activities in the maritime sector. Director General of NIMASA, Dakuku, Peterside and other experts described the maritime sector as a gold mine waiting to be fully explored. We are making progress in the area of capacity building. We are making progress in navigational safety. We need to invest in infrastructure. When the government now concentrated in agriculture, you can see the result. And this is what I envisage also in the maritime industry. We have to patronize the eastern seaports. We have to uh, distribute the goods. Why should the goods also only come from Lagos? Once we're able to change the terms of trade from free on board to a, a cost insurance and free as uh, CIF, then the cost aspect we get to Nigerians, the insurance aspect comes to Nigerians, and if they freight, we got Nigerians, we end. Recommendations in the 221-page book include the need to step up Nigeria's local and international freight earnings, as well as the setting up of a maritime bank to bridge financing gaps in the industry. In Abuja Mitaire, Ikmen, NTA News.